Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to expose a window scene so that you come from something like this to this. Hi guys, my name is Paul, I'm a German filmmaker and this channel is all about filmmaking, gear reviews but also DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribe. So please uh, apologize for the echo room work, uh, reverb here in this room. I'm in a kitchen, uh, it's not the nicest kitchen in the world by any means. <laughs> But uh, we're gonna shoot here uh, a scene and most likely when you're shooting commercials or with, with a corporate video, which I mostly do, then you will find yourself in a situation when you have to shoot against a window like in this one here. So uh, just camera wise, I have here the Komodo with the uh, Helios 44, uh, which is also cinema modded, this lens here. But as you can see, without any light, the windows are totally overexposed. So the very first thing before you're gonna even start is to plan your shoot accordingly. So I uh, preferably shoot against a window which is situated on the north side of the building. So that way I can be pretty sure that uh, the sun is not passing by and just blowing into the window so therefore but uh, if you don't have this luxury so this window here is situated against the north so the sun won't be there anyway so but if you don't have this luxury I personally use the app Sunseeker and then according to um, yeah the time when I will be shooting I will be tracking the sun and then I will figure out the perfect time spot. But the last thing that you want to do is when you want to start shooting and maybe an hour later, the sun is directly blasting into the window and then you can't do anything at all, even with the heaviest lighting equipment at all. So the first thing we want to do is to bring up the um, exposure in the room itself. So what I usually do for that is bouncing a light into uh, the ceiling and then it will so just blasting uh, the light into the ceiling and because we have white walls here everywhere it will just uh, bring up and the, the light will bounce back and it will bring up even um, the bounce it will even bring up the exposure into the room which is quite nice but uh, as you can probably see already from this camera the window is still um, fairly overexposed so the next thing we are gonna need to add is a key light. Okay now we've done the first step for bringing in our key light which is in this case the Aperture 300D Mark II because you want to have a light which is fairly powerful and I personally always use the Fresnel attached to it because that even doubles the light output. I personally don't like to use soft boxes because with the soft box attached uh, you will decrease the light output that the light offers and with this one we're gonna double the exposure of our light which is pretty good but the only thing that we need to do now is bring in some diffusion because with this blasting in our face uh, the light will look ugly anyway <laughs> so we're gonna move that now. So now we have finalized our setup. So now we have brought in um, some diffusion. And what I personally like to use is I have a C stand here. And on the C stand, I have attached the inside of a five in one reflector. This one has like this uh, like milky soft fabric inside, which works perfect for diffusion. If you don't have that, you can use anything. You can use a white bed sheet or even a shower curtain, something like that. The only thing that you wanna do is to soften the light. So you wanna bring in some white fabric, but be aware the thicker the material, the more uh, you will bring down your overall exposure. But this personally works really well always for me. So I like to work with the setup. So if we wanna take a closer look right now, we have the Aperture 300D blasting into uh, this 5-in-1 reflector here, which is gonna be our soft source. And I'm probably gonna re uh, remove that here or reposition it 
to fill in some of these shadows there. So, and that basically brings up all the exposure and now um, the window isn't overexposed anymore, at least in the final scene. You just need to uh, take into account uh, the wider your frame is, the harder it usually is um, to, to, yeah, to um, equalize the exposure from outside to inside because uh, with a fairly wide frame you can't bring the light so close as I can now with this uh, 50 mil so when I'm on a wider shot I have to yeah get even more powerful lights but there's also like a little bonus tip here just when you're using like a tighter frame uh, it's gonna be much easier because you can move at the lights fairly close Another thing that you can do, for example, is when it's still too bright outside is to use some uh, ND gel which you can attach to the window, but that also takes a lot of time. Another thing what you can do also is like record a clean plate with the window isn't overexposed and then uh, mask it out in post, but then you're gonna run into some issues if the talent is maybe just moving like that and then it's the arm is gonna be across <laughs> the mask, so that doesn't work in all cases. But yeah, that's basically uh, how I approach it when I'm lighting a commercial scene or a window scene. And that's basically my setup here. Basically everything is linked down below. If you have any further questions, just feel free to drop them down in the comments below. And I'm gonna see you in my very next video. Cheers.